Hi, yes, it's mailbag time again, where I open my mail. People just send me stuff, random stuff, and I'm going to open it here. So, I've got uh, five items, actually. Let's check it out. First one is Circuit Seller. No surprise, I know exactly what's in here. Get out the trusty Swiss Army knife. It should be. Everyone has heard of Circuit Seller. So, no surprise. Ta-da! Which includes your interview. On behalf of Circuit Seller, audio amateur and elector US staff in Vernon, Connecticut, I want to thank you for your contribution. Hello to all my viewers in uh, Vernon, Connecticut. If there are any. I don't know. How big's Vernon, Connecticut? No idea. There you go. And, uh, oh, I've got two copies. Brilliant. I'm in the April edition. There you go, Circuit Seller magazine. I uh, uh, don't get a print uh, copy of this. I've never gotten uh, a print copy. I've always gotten the digital copy of this. So this is some real paper, April 2012. Let's open it up and have a look. Ta -da. There I am. Ta -da. Who's that ugly guy? Unbelievable. What did they let him in here for? 22, page 22. And there it is. There's my interview. Electronics engineering for the people. <laughs> the people's engineer. <laughs> Go figure. There's inside my old uh, uh, clock, home built clock, home built clock. There's the uh, famous photo of me with the multimeters. And there we go. I got three full pages. Four. Four pages out of that. There you go. Go figure. Right in there with the uh, microchip stuff. Huge full page microchip ad. I wonder how much they pay for that. Ah, there you go. I didn't have to pay a cent and I got four pages worth. Brilliant. Love it. So there you go. If you want to uh, read my article, get the latest copy of Circuit Seller. Now the next one is pure spam. I get this all the time. So I know what's in here. It's from the Domain Renewal Group. A bunch of predatory bastards who, uh, pr who get your name from the uh, who is uh, list on uh, domains and they offer to uh, renew your domain at a ridiculously inflated price and they ship out uh, probably millions of these oh it's uh they're actually in australia now i don't think they used to be in australia i might send it back to them in their reply paid ah oh, it's not reply paid a fixed postage here screw that anyway what they do is um they, uh, there you go, ozcanyons.org, they're saying, oh, it's expired, yada, yada, yada. So they're making it out to be that um, they're, they're, well, they're preying on the fact that, you know, you don't know uh, anything about domain renewal and you'll, you'll go out of business if you let your domain expire. And it's one year for 45 bucks. You've got to be kidding me. I pay about five bucks a year, and that's like the going rate. If you're paying anything more than 10, you're getting ripped off you're getting shafted so there you go i hate this mob um i think they used to be more than that actually maybe they're not getting enough bites now but oh uh, i hate them they just uh... and the next one here is from energy micro i was expecting this one i think they've uh, sent me a uh, dev board they emailed me and said they would send one so uh let's crack this sucker open and See what's inside. Ta -da! The EFM 32 starter kit. It's uh, a 32 bit uh, uh, microcontroller, really uh, low energy one, apparently. Um, so that looks. Let's have a look at that. Uh, attention. They got it in a nice static shielding bag. I like that. Well done. And, uh, ooh, it's got an LCD on it. Lovely. Excellent, there we go. We've got a, uh, it's the Tiny Gecko, love the name, the EFM32 Tiny Gecko board. And if we take a closer look at that, we've got a CR2032 um, battery there. We've got a uh, J-Link, uh, I think that's a uh, debugger um, slash programming interface. Uh, oh no, there's a debug in out and it's got a uh, light sensor there we go and uh, a couple of switches and there's the fm32 micro pain in the ass package but uh, it's got a touch slider it's got one of those uh, capacitive um, slider 
one so you can slide your finger along there and uh, you can decode that in software it's got a 32 kilohertz crystal on there and uh, a few other miscellaneous devices all mounted under the LCD there excellent supply with the USB cable you get the IR and the IAR embedded uh, uh, workbench um, C compiler presumably like it, it that's usually code limited to like you know 32k or something like that don't quote me on that but that's a lot of pink ah nothing nothing not a sausage at least I got uh, some bubble wrap to uh, to pop uh, no nah. Ah, can't even pop this stuff. It's hopeless. And no, nothing. It's just padding. Comes from uh, Norway, by the way. Came all the way from... Where is it? Norway. Beautiful. Hi to all my viewers in Norway. Now check out the back of the board here. I rather like this. They've actually gone and put the schematic of the op amp there with the footprints uh, used so that you can uh, solder in the various components in there to presumably use an op amp on the top side. I really like that. It's rather neat. But uh, uh, if you don't know about the um, energy uh, micro boards, the EFM, uh, well, the chips, the EFM uh, 32 range, they're ultra low power. 32-bit uh, micros, 180 microamps per megahertz, megahertz execution, uh, 900 nanoamps in deep sleep mode, whatever deep sleep mode means. Presumably that means with the real-time clock still uh, going. And 20 nanoamps in shut-off mode, whatever shut-off is. That's presumably doing absolutely nothing. I don't know if that has uh, wake-up on interrupt or anything uh, like that. Uh, check out the data sheet if you want further details, but 4 to 32K uh, flash memory, 1 to 4 kilobytes SRAM, and uh, it's got a built-in LCD controller, as you'd expect, uh, 4 times uh, 24 uh, segments, and the LCD controller itself only uses 900 nanoamps. So if you're after a low-power micro, well, check them out, they're worth a look. And uh, this board, this uh, tiny Gecko, Gecko development board, uh, runs for about uh, 74 bucks, and you can get it from uh, Mouser and uh, DigiKey 2, I think so. It's not bad value. And they've partnered up with uh, Sega, and that's what the uh, J-Link uh, USB header is there. It's the uh, Sega, uses the Sega J-Link debugger. That's the tiny Gecko. Oh, can't they put like a little picture of a Gecko? on the board or something like that. That would have been really cool. Look, there's plenty of room on the bottom side to put a gecko. Instead, they just put their... No, and they just put the the, the uh, lead-free crap. Eh, who cares? I want an animal on the board. Because we get a nice-looking uh, gecko on the box here, but why not put that on the silk screen? Come on. Now, this one here is uh, interesting. It looks like it's uh, been through the wars here. It's a, it's a little bit beat up, and it contains a do-it-yourself electronics kit worth, well, presumably, nine euros, or that could just be the uh, thing they put on, the worth they put on the customs form, and uh, it's from Deutsche Post. Love the Germans. Hi to all my German viewers. I, uh, I think you're the uh, third or fourth uh, highest. Got a huge contingent of viewers in Germany, and it comes from R. Uh, blah, blah, I cannot read that, and I'm not even going to try and pronounce it. Anyway, thank you very much. So let's crack this thing open. I have no idea what uh, this one is. So this one is a uh, this one is a random. It's uh, nice silver tape there. I rather like that. All right, here we go. Ta -da! Got some paper. Have we got a German newspaper? We do. There we go. All my German uh, viewers will no doubt be able to read that because I can't. Uh, apart from uh, Gutentag, that's about all I know. So there you go. I have no idea what paper there that is. It's the Der Klein. I'm not even going to pronounce it. I cannot pronounce stuff. I'm hopeless. So there you go. We've got some paper. Hi Dave. Thanks for. Uh, I can't read the handwriting. Thanks for uh, something about KiCad. No worries. Have fun with this toy. With oh, let me open it. Oh, there's a oh CD. If 
if everything else fails, you can at least use it at the, uh, all the, I can't read your handwriting, sorry. <laughs> Works with Arduino IDE, cool. Oh, look, oh, what do we have here? Hey, this looks nice. <laughs> We've got surface mounts, huh? parts, excellent. 100 microfarad, see, this is the thing, um, people always talk about uh, why don't I do a surface mount kit or something like that and this is why because you have to individually cut or tape or label or something these individual surface mount parts because they're a pain in the ass. I mean you know there's no markings on these surface mount caps right so you've got to um, just uh, you know you've got to separate them into a bag and then identify them and it's just yeah it's just too much hassle. Excellent. 215 degrees C max towards center of the board. Awesome. Little 0805 diodes. Put them around once. Sorry for the mess. The AVR is uh, pre-programmed with a little demo. Cool. Please connect to a sound a serial uh, terminal. 96 board. 8NA. Not Arduino IDE. Awesome. So that's this little board here. Let's check it out. This is great, some nice little hardware here. Oh, wee, whoa. We've got chips and all sorts of things flying out here. Hang on, this could be messy. Yeah, there's there's chips and other stuff in there. And this is a uh, rather cute looking, uh, cute looking board. I like it. Not sure what it does. Blog, there we go. Blogspitzenfell.org. Thank you very much. There's the address. So check it out. Blog Spitzen, if I'm pronouncing Spitzenfell.org, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, I'll put the link up so that uh, you can put it in. And it's obviously some sort of little uh, AVR demo board. Lost in time, surround by evil, and low on gas. <laughs> What's that a quote from? Lost in time, surrounded by evil, and low on gas. It sounds like a quote from something. I'm not sure. I'm uh, not aware of that one. But uh, if anyone is, please let me know. I have to check it out. And there's the other uh, other parts in there, the LEDs with the uh, little surface mount AVR micro. He's pre-programmed that. So he must have one of those. Um, uh, must have one of those uh, uh, ZIF sockets to handle the PLCC uh, 28 package there. So there you go. What else have we got? And the CD is uh, presumably, yep, software. So excellent. Thanks for that. Sorry I can't uh, pronounce your first name later, but thank you very much from Spitzenfeld.org. That's brilliant. I'll have to build that up and uh, see what it does. That'll be fun. That's a nice therapeutic board to build, I think. It's going to, lots of therapy in that, lots of satisfaction. I love round boards, they're neat. Brilliant. Thank you very much. And this just arrived this afternoon, and I know exactly what it is. Microcurrents. Woohoo! I've got 50, apparently, 50 assembled uh, microcurrents. I know I had 200 manufactured, but uh, they won't be ready until um, early next week. But they said they'd ship me uh, 50, and uh, ta-da! Here we go. There's the boards. Ah, these bloody foam peanuts. Let's see if I can get them out without spilling the foam peanuts. Ta -da. They uh, left them on the panels. Excellent. And there we go. Here's my completed microcurrent boards. Awesome. Look at that. They look neat on the panel. I'll put them down and we'll get a close-up of them. And this is my new panel from uh, Circuit Labs in New Zealand. And it looks very nice indeed. I like it. EEV Blog Microcurrent. Because I uh, added the EEV Blog on there, as you might know. Seems to be no issue with the uh, construction there at all. I can't see any component uh, loading issues, but uh, I guess we won't know until we fire one of these up. And that means I've got to break these out of the panel. Now, ordinarily you'd use a, uh, a cutter on here to actually, uh, like a wheeled cutter to go along and uh, slice these off, but uh, we don't have that. So 
next best thing is just to give them a little little wiggle like that and uh, that should they should break off fairly easily without doing too much well without doing any damage to the uh, to the rest of the board there we go it snapped off pretty easy and uh, then once you've got these ends off you can uh, leverage the full board there to give it a little bit of a wiggle and off it comes and that's the uh, beauty of the v-scoring and now it's quite uh, and now it's quite uh, wobbly it's uh, can do the old Rolf Harris wobble board thing. There you go. Maybe I can do time your kangaroo down. Sport time your kangaroo down. All together now. Time your kangaroo down. Sport. Okay. I'll uh, spare the Yanks that. So let's uh, see if we can then take the board and snap it off. Easy. Not a problem. There you go. There's the uh, before shot and the after shot. This is the new uh, Circuit Labs. New Zealand board and uh, I rather like it. I like the bigger font. It's got EEV blog on the front and it's a more metallic uh, shiny face on it. I think it's rather neat. I like it. And does it work? I've whacked a battery in there and uh, hey the LED comes on. That's a good start. <laughs> At least the battery detection uh, voltage works. And the nano amp range works no problems at all. I'm feeding in a hundred nano amps and pretty darn close. And the microamp range, look at it, spot on. And I'm feeding in 99.9 .9 milliamps. And the milliamp range, pretty darn close to spot on too. Awesome. I declare this one to be a winner. So there you go. That's the EEV blog mailbag. I hope you like that one. And if you want to uh, send me stuff, please do. Here's the address. P.O. Box uh, 7949, Borkham Hills, New South Wales, 2153, Australia not Austria, okay, get it right, and uh, yeah, um, by all means, send me stuff, and I'll open it on air, can be anything, bizarre, I don't care, send it, catch you next time.